Siéntese aquí, por favor. Yo lo cuidaré. ¿Usted lo va a curar? Haré lo mejor posible. Gracias, doctor. Cuida a tu madre. Thank you, nurse. Not much of a chance, Stoner. Let him go. Even if we do operate, he'll be a vegetable. I'm going to scrub. Get started. and his birthday. It was a so cute Your son was driving a stolen car. Do you understand? Do you know what automobile is? Automobile? Pinto. El Pinto. Hey, what is with this place? Somebody speaks in. Hey, wait a minute. Take it easy. You're going to work in this neighborhood. Try to learn the language. Hey, who are you? I'm Dr. Stoner. Doctor, I have to fill out a report. Not now, officer. Doctor, I have to fill out a report. Officer. This is not the time. Doctor, will you tell us? How is my brother? Since when do you speak English? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Todavía es tan coma, señora. ¿Sabe qué es? Está... Está vivo, pero no puede hablar. Rece por él. Sixth floor nursing supervisor, call your office. Sixth floor nursing supervisor, please call your office. Hey, Lonnie, how you doing? What time you getting up, huh? How you doing, Karen? Fine, doctor. Hey, doc, she looks like she's doing right to me, huh? Yeah, I wish that. Good. Okay, what do you want to do it? Hey, Mr. Stewart, how are you doing? It's Elaine, Doctor. She is in fear. Well, let's take a look at her. Hey, what's wrong with you, girl? My stomach sore. Hey, Doc. I've been waiting since 9 o'clock this morning. What about me, huh? Well, take it easy. Take it easy. They'll get to you. Mm -hmm. You've been eating too much candy. That's why. <laughs> Open your mouth. Yeah, yeah. See? See, look at that. No teeth. <laughs> What'd I tell you? Stoner. Thought you'd gone home. Well, here's the doctor. You're the doctor. Well, I'm, uh, Dr. Stoner's going off duty now. Okay? You want to bring her to the examining room? Hey, don't worry about anything. He's okay. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Michael, you listen to me. You tied up an anesthesiologist, two interns, four nurses, who knows what else, for half the night. We were operating. That's what a hospital's for. In the opinion of one of your colleagues, Enrico Fernandez was legally dead when he came in here. He was legally dead. He's alive now. I'm glad he's alive. But I'm responsible for this hospital. I'm responsible for the way things are done. I should have been consulted. Hey, we can't reach you. You're always in meetings on the phone. That's no excuse, and you know it. You have been told before that this hospital has certain proper and necessary procedures. Procedures? You know what's bugging you? I, I ran up your light bill without your permission. Why don't you admit it? A 16-year-old Mexican kid cost you a couple of grand a night. A lot of things are bugging me. I'm bugged by your lack of discipline. I'm bugged that you may not be able to save the world with the budget I'm given. Hey, well, I don't give a damn about your budget. Without that budget, you wouldn't have a hospital look, to work in. Look, I do what has to be done, when it has to be done. If you don't like it, fire me. Michael, you're tired. You don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm tired. Good night. It's 
very nice, Maria. Thank you. Good night, Sophia. Good night, Nadia. Oh, I wish I could live there. It's not such a place. It's just pretend. But I paint my dream. I think everybody paints their dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the color and the composition. Thank you. It's really very good. Well, thank you. Thanks, Cynthia. Good night. Good night. See you next week. Okay. Uh, Cynthia, please, come and help me. Good night, Jay. I'm in trouble. What's wrong, Mr. Cheryl? The hands. Look at the hands. They're too big. I like it. Don't, Mr. Lechero. Why? Please don't do that. Nobody looks like that. Come on, man. I bet that guy can really punch somebody out. It's out of perspective. It doesn't matter. It's honest. If I wanted a photograph, I'd get a camera. Art is freedom, Mr. Lechero. It's the only place you can do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Okay. Oh, he knew he's just a nut. <laughs> Maybe I'll take it home. I would. Good night. Good night. Maybe next week I'll paint a cup fight, huh? Good. Hey, you. Hey, buddy, what do you want? It's all right. He's a friend of mine. Oh. You sure it's okay? Yeah, thanks. Take it easy. Night. The students really look after you, don't they? Yeah, they're good guys. You're late. I wanted you to sit in on my class. Well, I did too, when I had a, an emergency operation. Just like last week. Mm-hmm. Well, next week I'll bring my charcoal pencils and uh, draw for you, I promise. Oh, I bet you don't even have charcoal pencils. <laughs> Treat me like you do. I said I don't know why you treat me like you do. Hey, that's very nice. <sighs> yeah. They call me the singing doctor. Hey, uh, what's going on here? What do you mean? You know, candles, wine. You know what day this is? What, is your birthday? Nope. Uh, my birthday? It's the seventh. Oh, the seventh. All right. What's the seventh? It's, um, sort of an anniversary. We met exactly one month ago. Well, I never thought it would end up like this. Like what? You know, like this. You have great eyes. <laughs> Mirrors. I like the way I look in them. Am I attractive to you? <laughs> you kidding? When I first saw you, it was like looking at something special. I was scared to ask you out. But then I found out you wrote uh, fairy tales, and I said, hey, <laughs> she needs you. <laughs> she thinks life is all magic castles and glass slippers. I better set it straight. Yeah, so you decide to show me the real world, huh? Yeah, that's right. What have I got? Candlelights and fairy tales. Hey, what's this? Nothing. Nothing? A moose wearing a stethoscope is nothing. Oh, there you go. You'll feel better. Tomorrow I'll show you the sun. Would you like that? Uh, Cynthia, you're talking to a plant. I know. Well, why are you talking to a plant? It's tired. Well, I'll give it a shot of B12. Shh. It's a plant. Plants have feelings. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just sit over here while my girl talks to her begonias. Am I? 
What? Am I your girl? So here you are. But do you know what you're getting into? Rotten hours. Guy who can't go to the movies because he's too tired. That's what my mother said. She said that you were. You told your mother about me? My dad, too. Great. They want to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. No, I mean in a good way. Honest. Please. When? Sunday brunch. It's your free day. We could just stop in for a few minutes. Okay, okay. What'd you tell your parents? That you were tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you said dark? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I just wanted to make sure when I walk in, I don't give them a stroke. Oh, stop worrying. Who's worried? Hello? Yes, just a minute. It's the hospital. Yeah. Okay, I'll be there. I gotta go. I'll call you tomorrow. Michael! Happy anniversary. Dr. Stoner. Well, I just left there. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'll be there. Are you crazy? You look like a hairdresser. Look at that, huh? Don't shake the camera. Come on, Stoner. Let's go. Let's go. Would you shut up? I'm the director. You only the script girl. Okay, just act natural, Stoner. What kind of direction is that? Stripes. Will you get out of the way? Yeah, come on. Okay, guys, action. You didn't tell him what to do. What's going on? We're making a documentary on the neighborhood, and you're one of our leading citizens. Okay, well, I'll come back when y'all get Oh, to come on, Stoner, please. Angie, Angie. Okay, okay, brother. Uh, scene 28, take one. Here in the city of Los Angeles, we have a man who's came up the hard way. This is his story. Oh, please. Move forward, Stoner. Okay, hold it right there. Come on, Stoner. Hi, I'm Michael Stoner. Come on! <laughs> what do you want me to say? Tell us where you were born. Will you shut up? I'm the director. Without a frame. Stripes, you don't know what you're doing. I'm an artist. You're just technical help. Hey! I'll catch y'all later. Hey, that stuff ain't hot, is it? Oh, no, no, no. We're on a grant. <laughs> oh, Mike! 
going up. I know. I'm waiting for the blood cultures. Yeah, better not wait too long. I have to wait. Most of her tests haven't come back from the lab yet. Comatose, paralysis of the lower I know stomach. the symptoms, Stoner. I just don't know what it adds up to. We've had six other people now with similar symptoms. It begins with severe abdominal cramps, vomiting, then no Call the lab. Tell them we need those tests. I've just need. come from there. And? They're working on it. If you leave them alone, they'll work on it till Christmas. One of us has to get those tests and get them. All right, I'll go. We'll just aggravate them. We'll never get done. Hey, sweet Claire. Hey, were you on last night? I'm always on, Stone. <laughs> Which of them? Whether they always want. Spencer. How many of those flu patients have uh, temperatures over 102? Too many. Thank you. And they've just admitted three more. Where's the doctor, nurse? I gotta get out of here. You've got a 22 slug in your shoulder. It's got to be taken care of. We're at war, woman. Don't you know nothing? In shot. Dr. Stoner. We need some help. We're not gonna hurt you. All you have to do is trust us. Leave her alone. I'm sorry, my grandmother doesn't like hospitals. Her husband died here. Listen to me. Listen, if you help me, I can help you go home. Okay? I want you to go home. I want you to go home just like you do. He's a good man, Grandma. Nurse? All right, let me, let me take this for you. It's gonna be all right. Lie down here, please. You know, lie down here. All right. Go ahead, nurse. That's it. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Really. It'll be all right. <laughs> oh, ticklish, huh? <laughs> Any vomiting? Yes. She says first yesterday her legs hurt her, and today she can hardly walk. Get a CBC electrolytes in the liver panel. Yes, sir. Hang in there. Let's go. Come on. You all right? Quarantine them. Who's going to notify the Department of Health? You are. Pharmacist on call. Please go to CCU Flat. Please go to CCU Flat. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Did your mother get any sleep? How about you? Pasa para ese burro mamón de tel dedo así. Why don't you take him home and get some rest? I can't. Don't worry, we'll arrange for a bed here for your mother. Que te, okay. Que te va a dar una cama, eh? Mira, no te apures. Ahorita vuelvo. Cuídalo bien. Betty, you have the Fernandez boys chart? Now, 
Did either of you eat in a restaurant yesterday? Sure, in Beverly Hills. Oh, we were hanging out with the movie Mr. stars. Hey, Mike, Mike, Dr. Stoner, this is uh, Mr. Mason from the Department of Health. Dr. Stoner, to... uh, did you eat at the restaurant yesterday? <laughs> Look, this is important. May I have your cooperation, please? Did either of you have fish or milk? All right, let them through. Doctor, them we through. must have order here. Yeah, we got to have order right here. Uh, did you have any uh, milk or yogurt or cheese or anything? Uh, excuse me, uh, Dr. Stoner. Uh, we had some cheese. May I have your name, please? Uh, there it is. She had cheese. Mrs. Stewart, did you feed Now, just a minute, please, Doctor. We have to get a clear milk record as we go. Milk and ice cream. Right there. Did anybody have any uh, canned goods within no, the last no, 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 uh, 24 wait, hours? Wait, 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 Mr. Chu. Uh, the rest of you give him your name later. Don't, no, I haven't finished the restaurant. Don't worry about yet. the restaurant. Yeah, don't worry about the restaurant. I ate out yesterday. You don't have the virus? Now, can we have a little order here, please? Yeah, let's have a little hey, come order. Come on, come on, man. Look, Mr. Chu, I thought you were done. trying to... Me? Not yet. I can't afford it. I'm still living on La Vada Pond. You haven't eaten anywhere else. I mean, outside the neighborhood. No. I can't even afford to go out. Thanks. What have you eaten? So you did not eat in a restaurant yesterday, is that correct? Uh, that did is correct. Bar? Yes, Did either of you have any... Does anybody live outside Did either of you have any citrus yesterday? What's that? Does anybody here live in Washington? Mr. Chu, you have a Yeah. Mr. Stewart lives on the bottom. Did you have any from yesterday? No, I have bananas. Bananas, all right. Where'd you buy them? I didn't buy them. I took them. Okay, you took them. You took them from where? <clears throat> from Larry's Market. Why? Uh, thank you, Mrs. Liddy. Uh, see you again. And these come from Mexico? The bananas. Do you, uh... You sell on credit here? Depends. You know uh, Mrs. Stewart or Mrs. Valdez, Mr. Chu, anybody? Maybe, yeah. Uh, you uh, a cop or something? No, no, I'm a, I'm a doctor. Any of these people bother me? You know them? Maybe. with a feet, remember? Oh, yeah, right, right. How you doing? Yeah, I'm walking on him. Good, good. And hey, what's with the ambulance? That's a second one today. Does everybody here shop at Larry's Market? Yes. Why? Hey, doctor! Bada palms, bada palms. Didn't anybody check these? Doctor, I don't understand. Almost everybody in here lives at the same address. Doesn't that mean anything to you? It could mean a great many things, Doctor. Well, uh, how about where they all get their food? Larry's Market. Remember Larry's Market? Check it out. All right, I'll put it on the yeah, list. We'll do it now. Dr. Stoner. I don't tell you how to do your job. I would appreciate it if you didn't tell me. We're faced with an epidemic, Inspector. I'll go do it myself. Stoner, there are established procedures. I don't care about your procedures, don't you? Don't you understand? That food store has to be shut down now. Hey, kid. Feeling all right today? That little tan, sunbathing again, huh? 
Yeah, I'm going to see my girl's family. They got the life. No health department inspectors, no, no epidemic. Uh, Rico, I don't know what this thing is, man. Don't act like nothing in the book. I'm scared to death somebody's gonna die from it before we can stop it, you know? Now, I'll check you later, man. Gavin O'Connor. Whenever there's free booze around, I know you can't be too far away. <laughs> I could say the same about you. <laughs> We were there in the harbor of Bermuda, and we found ourselves. Hey, this is bigger than I thought. Me too. Cynthia, darling. And you must be Michael. So glad you could join us. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, come with me, Michael. Some friends of mine here I'd like you to meet. They've been our good neighbors for many years. They've known Cynthia since she was a little girl. Liz, Jack, this is a friend of Cynthia's, Dr. Michael Stoner. He's on staff at the downtown Los Angeles Hospital. Hello, Mother. I'm so glad you came. Jerry, I don't believe you've met Johnny. Charlotte. This is Dr. Stoner, my wife, Sean. Oh, so pleased to meet you, Dr. Stoner. My pleasure. Cynthia's been telling us all about your hospital and the oh, wonderful things you Well, it's not my hospital. I'm just a doctor there. Oh, well, according to my daughter, you're the doctor there. She says it simply couldn't function without you. Well, is that what you've been telling her? Uh, you'll have to get used to that, doctor. The child does have a tendency to exaggerate a bit. Woman. Woman. Come on, I'm starving. Nice to meet you. Nice to have seen you, Doctor. You got your mother's eyes. Hey. Hey, Mouse. Hi. <laughs> you look great. Thanks. Michael, I'd like you to meet George at Chase. Hi. Hi. Cynthia, so tell you I own a hospital, too? All of East Los Angeles. <laughs> George, a lawyer. You're supposed to be impressed. Oh, I am. George, my best friend, but she's also a, a flirt. Oh. oh, I get it. Lady lawyers don't impress you, but uh, forward women do. <laughs> she put you in one of her books yet? He looks kind of like a panther. Lean and dangerous. Does she always carry on like this? Always. Georgette, behave yourself. You're no fun. Your father has no faith in me. <laughs> Where is your young man? What was he? Oh, I, I don't... I don't really look at myself as a TV personality. I'm much more of an uh, investigative reporter. Fallon, you're a troublemaking muckraker. That's what you are. Not true, Uncle Gab. Fallon Riley is a courageous electronic journalist. Michael Stoner, meet the infamous Fallon Riley. I've seen your work. Your program on child abuse was excellent. Why, thank you. I really should have won an Emmy for that one. Oh, well. <laughs> Uncle Gavin, I'd like you to meet Dr. Michael Stoner. Dr. Stoner, I'd like you to meet Dr. Gavin O'Connor. Nice to see you. Well, watch out for this one, Dr. Stoner. In five minutes, they'll have you convinced that you need a new nose. And it's $5,000 for the small size. I have saved many an actress's career by... Ah, now, this is what we call the magic finger speech. Oh, Fallon, you're cruel. Thank you, Cynthia. But I can handle this overblown buffoon. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> Plastic surgery is a remarkable feel. You know, last month I saw a kid with gunshot wounds. His face was... Dr. Stoner, I trust that you're not a medical charlatan like Dr. O'Connor here. Oh, I'm a doctor at a downtown hospital. Dr. O'Connor has a private clinic on Sunset Boulevard. It looks more like a boutique. The kid who was shot, he was on the table for three hours. Dr. Montrose operated, you know him? We've met. He did a sensational job. You'd have to look real close just to find any... I didn't realize that Montrose was on the staff in East L.A. No, he's not. He gives us two days a week. Are you uh, on staff anywhere, Doctor? In recent years, I've restricted my activities to the clinic. Well, we could use you. You know, they're ripping each other apart down there. Michael's kidding. But there really is a lot to do. I'd love a drink, wouldn't you? Your father tells me you've been volunteer teaching downtown. Yes, and it's wonderful. They're really talented artists. All they need is a little guidance and encouragement. I think what you're doing is commendable. But I was talking to your father about your being downtown so much. He's concerned. About what? 
He's so proud of what you do. I'm sure he doesn't want to interfere, but Cynthia, that can be a dangerous neighborhood. Oh, that's nonsense. And anyway, they wouldn't lay a hand on any friend of Dr. Michael Stoner. I'm sure. But Dr. Stoner has his responsibilities. He can't be with you all the time. A young woman alone in East L.A. Dr. O'Connor, there are many young women alone in East L.A. Of course there are, Doctor. But some people fit in certain places. Others don't. Are you sure we haven't met? I think I know you. I have no recollection of ever having met you before. Michael. Yeah, well, maybe you just uh, sound like a lot of people I know. I'm not certain I appreciate your meaning, Doctor. Doctor, since you can't practice in East L.A., and since you like to, to keep the people who are trying to help out of East L.A., I got to figure you don't know nothing about the area. I know what goes on down there. Every concerned citizen of Los Angeles knows. Yeah, yeah, I've heard all that. But it gets very heavy down there, man. But why don't you come down anyway? Maybe you might learn something about the people. And you find out how badly they need doctors. I can't believe you, man. Here we are working double shifts to try to handle the load, and you sitting in some fancy clinic, bobbing noses. You call yourself a doctor. You ain't no doctor. You're a beautician. You're making a spectacle of yourself, doctor. Excuse me. Michael. Cynthia. Michael. Like you. Well, didn't you hear what he said? He's one of my father's oldest friends. So what? What am I supposed to do? Just stand there and take it? Couldn't you just stay cool for once for me? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't cry. I can't help it. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's my suit and my tie. I get crazy when I, when I wear it. Come on, give me a smile. Hey, where are you going? You got a girl, Rico? Trouble, man. We'll leave that. Can't do nothing to please them. They're all the same, too. No matter if they come from, from East L.A. Or, or Bel Air. They walk around on their skinny ankles, looking like, like little canaries. Yeah, I'm in trouble, Rico. I think I blew it. Hey, don't get involved with the fancy ones, man. They'll kill you. You cry too easy. Well, I hear you play a little handball. Maybe sometime you and me, we go to the gym, you hear me? Don't get fresh with the nurses. Don't worry, I haven't cut anybody in a couple days. I'm sorry, this is a hospital. better. You can't just come in here. That doctor, I tried to stop you. It's okay, Loretta. You told my customers don't buy from Larry's. You said the food was poison. Now, they don't come into my store anymore. We examined the food and the building thoroughly. There's absolutely nothing in the store which could have caused a problem. Are you sure? Absolutely. See, everybody's afraid to, to buy food from me. I, I've been in business for 15 oh, years, okay, doctor. Okay, be quiet. We're in the hospital. I'll straighten it out. Redress this. I'll give an appointment. You better do something or I'll call my lawyer. Now, you, you ruined my business for 15 Mr. years. Mr. Lee, I've got I'll good see Perhaps in the future, you'd better stick to the patients and let me do the investigation. Well, if it isn't the food, what is it? I mean, if I leave it up to you, we'll have a real epidemic on our hands. Do you realize how many Doctor, more patients... Doctor, I'll do the job. I don't want any more interference. You'll fix up my business. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sue you, understand? Mr. Lee, listen up. I, I, I'll explain to the people that I was wrong, okay? Mm -hmm. Trouble, Stoner? 
idea. I'll handle it. She's got the same symptoms as the others. Ebony, huh? That's it. It's my professional name. Are you? What are you? Stripper? <laughs> I'm gonna be a model. Oh. Well, what's your real name? Doctor, if you don't hurry up, I mean, I have my baby right here. How close are the contractions? Ten minutes apart. You have plenty of time. Don't worry. Louise Washington. What's that? My real name. Oh, Louise. Every little brain seems to be spilling me. <laughs> you know that one? <laughs> Ebony. That's so they know I'm black. <laughs> I dig that. So, uh, I see your boyfriend likes skinny girls. He better. I'm still on a diet. He's too skinny already. I'm fasting. All I've had for the last couple of days is water. Water? You sure that's all you've had? Yeah. Where do you live? Nevada Palms. Why? Nurse. Quarantina. I'm Dr. Myers. I'll be taking care of you. No way. I, I ain't gonna have no woman deliver my baby. Put it back over here against the wall. It has to be the water. It's all she's had for two days. I will have to run some more tests. Shut down the water. Like you closed down the grocery store? No. This time, we do it my way. Dr. Shadle, please call the page operator. Dr. Oscar Shadle, call the page operator. Lock that up. All right. Now, make sure nobody turns the water back on until I say so. We checked out the food. It's not food poisoning. It's not a, a virus. Everything else checked out okay. So what's left? The water. It's got to be the water. Any more of these? Nope, not the last one. Okay, keep them locked up. Okay. Hey! Mrs. Lopez! Who shut the water off? The doctor! Water has flu in it! Ha <laughs> ha! Head and shut off. Don't let you get spread rumors. You've caused store. panic with absolutely no Listen, proof. Something's wrong with the water in that building. All right, Please. but you can't act arbitrarily. Have you checked out the water? The chemist or Have you checked out how many patients lived in or visited that building? I was about to do that when you shut off the water. You're always just about oh, to. Oh, you can't talk to a city official like that. Hey, He's doing his job. Listen to me. If we wait for the health department, all my patients will be dead. <laughs> Terrific job you did, Doc. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. The whole neighborhood is grumbling. Just look at that guy. Hey, shoot that! Slow down, Mr. Slow down. Hey, come on, fellas, get the shot. Get a close up of the bottle. The bottle! Good, good. Excellent. Oh. We're doing a documentary on what happened the day the well went dry. Well, nothing's wrong with the water. It's bad in the bottom palms, nowhere else. Tell that to them. Well, y'all gonna have to help me out, Angie, okay? Hey, mister, don't drink the water. You wanna buy a bottle of soda? 75 cents? <laughs> Chaplain Reynolds, please call 2 East. Chaplain Reynolds, call 2 East. Here he comes. Looks like he got up out of an empty bed. Oh, Dr. Stoner. You know how many cases of that stomach disease we got in last night? It was the water. <laughs> yes, the water was contaminated. Traces of toxic chemicals, pesticide. Well, how did it get there? 
pipes in the buildings were faulty. The pipes? It's being taken care of. But we've got patients who are partially paralyzed because of those pipes. What do you mean it's being taken care of? It's being taken care of by the proper authorities, which does not include you. My advice, if you want to go on working in this hospital, is stop running around the neighborhood meddling in things which if don't concern you. If it weren't for my meddling, you and your, your, your health inspector would still be looking for a virus. If I hear one more word about those pipes in the Levada palms, you're fired. Is that clear? You can't just... Oh, yes, I can. I can and I will. doesn't belong to him. Michael. Don't tell me to forget about the pipes. I can't. I know. There's a piece of me in that hospital. That's where my mother took us when we got sick. When my father couldn't work anymore, we took him there. They fixed him up and never charged us a cent. He used to say, we need a doctor like us in there. He never stopped telling me that, trying to make it happen for me. He was something else. He drove Tishman crazy. <laughs> he never quit fighting. Depressing me. But you better know I'm gonna find out who's responsible. Hey, the building department should have records of who built those apartments, shouldn't they? Let me help you. Can you check on it tomorrow? Sure. Oh, uh, I thought it over, and if you want to name the moose Michael, you can. <laughs> Phone call for Dr. Stoner on 714. Hey, nurse. Dr. Stoner. Hi, Dr. Stoner. Hey, what's up? I made a phone booth at City Hall. And the architects are Wilson and Brown. The construction contractor was Lamberti Brothers. They're the ones who put in the pipes. Well, what's their address? They're doing a building on 7th and Melrose. Tony Lamberti runs the company. He's probably there now. OK. Good enough. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Excuse me, where's Mr. Lamberti? Thanks a lot. Excuse me. I'm looking for Mr. Lamberti. Oh, yeah? Who are you? Dr. Stoner. It's about some buildings he uh, constructed. Come on up. Mr. Lamberti. This guy wants to see you about some buildings. Says he's a, a doctor. Check that out. Make sure it's right stuff. What can I do for you, doctor? 
You constructed some buildings in Echo Park. The Labada Palms, you remember it? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're having some problems with the uh, pipes. Oh. Seems to be pesticides. And... <laughs> the health department checked out the water. Doctor, that building's over a year old. Hey, I, I don't know what the health department told me. But I guarantee you my materials are top quality. Uh, maybe they should check out the source of the water supply. They did. They nailed it down to the pipes in your building. Really, Doctor? Really? Who supplied you with those pipes? Is that the stuff we've been waiting for? That's it. I'm Bertie. There's a connection between the pesticides and those pipes. Now, I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to find out. Uh, doctor, <coughs> may I make a suggestion? You should be wearing a hard hat. You hang around here, something hard's going to fall in your head. Well, you have no protection. I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. That birdie knows, Rico. He knows I've seen him. You tell me what a pesticide's doing in pipes. A crime's been committed, in, and nobody cares. Well, let me tell you something, Rico. I'm gonna find out and put those rotten pipes in the buildings. No matter what Tishman says. Chart, please. Sure, darling. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hi, Stoner. Looks like you're feeling better today. Mm, better. Dig in. I've gained five pounds since I've been here. Uh, well, I don't know. I like them with a little meat on their bones myself. Who ever heard of a fat model? Come on, come on. Dig in. Oh, I can't eat all this. Sure you can. How long do I have to stay here? Another 10 pounds worth. Telephone call for Dr. Stoner. What can I say? Oh, uh, you better live it up while you can. They still can't use the water without a pound. Hey, nurse, can I have more milk? If I ain't touching the water. This ain't no hotel, honey. Stoner here. Hi. Hey, doll. How is it? Did you see Lamberti yet? Yeah. How did he seem? Shifty. Want to hear a coincidence? Lamberti's cousin is a guess what? What? City building inspector. Does that say anything to you? That's how those pipes got in there. Nice going, Nancy Drew. I'll see you later. Bye. Come on, come on, get in. I need your help. Where y'all been? I've been looking all over the place. Oh, uh, we was out uh, filming uh, in the park, but uh, we got rained out. Yeah, ever since everybody started drinking the water again, we had to start a new film. Oh, yeah, I heard the water's back on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now listen. You know that construction site at 7th and Melrose? Uh -huh. Okay, I want you to keep an eye on them. I need to find out who supplies them with, with, with pipes, lumber, everything, right? Okay, Doc, I'll get you some great film. A girl director will lose our grant. Hey, come on, come on, Stars, man. This is serious. Now, watch for Tony Lamberti. Tony Lamberti, he's the boss. Try to get film on anybody that comes to see him, all right? Well, you dock anything. Watch out, she'll take over the hospital, you know what I mean? mean? No, he don't know what you yes, mean. No, uh, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, go ahead.
Come in, Dr. Stoner. My name's Harold Dickerson. Uh, sit down. Is there anything I can get you? Coffee, tea? Oh, no, thanks. Well, I understand the boys upstairs have been giving you the runaround. That's the trouble with the bureaucracy. Too many chiefs and not enough Indians. You sure I can't offer you something to drink? No, no thanks. Uh, do you know most of the building inspectors? Well, I think one of them being bought and paid for. Hold all my calls. I like your style, Doctor. Right to the point. I don't get much of that around here. Go ahead. Truck drivers, come on out. Hey, it only take 5.2 seconds. Come on out, huh? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Where's this uh, movie going to be shown? Uh? All over. Hey, you work for the Birdie Mo? Yeah. Uh huh. Should I talk up more? No, no, it's perfect. Sounds <laughs> great. Hey, where do you all get your supplies from? We'll need proof, Doctor. Facts. Give my secretary your name and number. I'll find out who the inspector was on this project. Thank you, Mr. Dickerson. And don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of this. In the meantime, keep me posted if you run across anything. I will. I could use a few people like you here, Doctor. Lori, give Dr. Stoner my car. Thank you again, Doctor. Thank you. Me, Tony Lamberti. Lamberti's got two, two companies. One that builds, and the other one's a demolition company. You want to see a proof of? Oh, ah, 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 hey, come on, be quiet, be quiet. Yeah, I was. I worked on the crew that demolished the chemical plant. Boy, that was something. I tell you, smelled like skunk. And those fumes nearly did me in. You know. Well, what's that? All around 1974. Yeah, 1974. And that's uh -huh. it. That's it. That's the year he built Levada Palm. The stink and the heat. I, I thought I nearly died. Well, the overtime was uh, was really good. You know? It was one of those uh, one of those plants that uh, made the bug killer. <laughs> we got him. The pipes Lamberti put in Levada Palm must have come from the pesticide plant he tore down. Hey, Rudy. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, Miss Lopez. This is what I want. Lamberti probably had these pipes chemically treated to get rid of the pesticide. That was okay for a while. And then traces of the pesticides reappeared and contaminated the water. I bet they wouldn't let this happen in Beverly Hills. Yeah. Stoner, where are you going with that pipe? I asked you to find out a few things and suddenly you're an expert. I spoke to my father. Yeah, that's another thing. Why does he want me to quit? He knows this city. What could happen? Yeah, everybody's on the tape. They're all sleeping with each other, including your father. That's a damn lie. He cares about you and the pipes and what's happening. Then why doesn't he help me? You can't do it alone. I'm not. I got a guy at City Hall named Dickerson who's ready to, to nail him when I come in with the proof. They're not going to stand around and let you put them out of business. Oh, you too. Everybody wants me to quit. It's dangerous, Michael. Lamberti's too well connected. And look, I don't care what you say. I'm going to get the one piece of evidence I need to finish this guy. Oh, great. Once more into the lion's mouth. This time you're a macho doctor. I could macho finish you. Macho doctor? Is that what you think I am? You Michael, think I can't handle myself? I think you can do whatever you want. I think you're the Lone Ranger of East L.A. Yeah, well, I've had it. I've had it with you, your father, and your friends. Why don't you get yourself another boy? Get out. <laughs> with everybody, Rico. All they tell you is it's, it's too tough, Michael. You can't do it, Michael. 
They'll get you back off, Michael. Damn it, Rico, don't they know there's still more to do? I mean, you wouldn't be surprised if Lamberti was still using secondhand junk in his buildings, would you? They want us to quit. You're not a quitter, are you, Rico? Hey, uh, what are you, what, what's that? It's a pipe from Levada Palms. Half the evidence I need to put Lamberti and his city hall friends away. The other half I get tonight. We're not policemen. We're, we're doctors. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can tell by your long white coat. Stoner! Mr. Dickerson? And Michael Stoner. Fine, thanks. Listen, I'm almost uh, ready. I've just got one more thing. Yeah, tonight. Well, I don't know. How about, uh, how about 10 o'clock tomorrow? Okay, good. I'll see you in the office. Thanks, don't worry. Goodbye. Seventh and Melrose. I'll be right there. I think your rib is broken. It's not that bad. Look, Michael, maybe I should call a doctor. I am a doctor. You look awful. Thanks. Well, what do we do now? Let me get some more ice for my hand. No, I mean about Lamberti. Well, what do you think I should do? Not let him get away with this. You know, you're a pretty classy lady. Even in jeans, you look dressed up. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. I'll get some ice. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we need to see 
Jeez, it's terrific. Are y'all going to wait out here all day? Get inside. Hi. Who's that? Hi, I'm Cynthia. Hi. I'm pleased to meet you. Hi. Okay, let's get going. What's so great about this film? Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's coming up. Watch this. Hey, that's Dickerson. Yeah, the big payoff. Yeah, we got it. Lambert is going to give him the money right there now. There he goes, there he goes. See it? Oh. Well, Doc? He's setting me up. Well, I thought it was pretty good. Played right in well, with his hand. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. It was dynamite. It was terrific. It was just what I wanted. Hey, Pete, that was a good idea. No, people have to see this film. Can you, uh, can you get me that, the number of that, 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 that TV commentator that was at your folks? Helen Riley? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. All right, everybody out. I gotta go to work. Okay. And I need a ride. You got it. <whistles> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little sore. <laughs> Must be some woman, huh? <laughs> oh, he don't talk to his friends no more. <laughs> hey, lady, go easy on the doctor, huh? streets too long, Rico. I should have seen him coming. <laughs> Dickinson must be laughing his tail off. I was running around with a, with a pipe in my hand. They, they laid back. Watch me make a fool out of myself. No more. They got me this time, but I got the next one. time. <laughs> you got all my secrets right there in your ear. Oh, man, you were... Hey, listen. If you tell anybody what I said, I'm gonna put you away. You hear me? Eyes. Um, uh, uh, su hijo, uh, los ojos. Let me refill your drink. You sure you wouldn't like anything stronger than uh, tonic? No, uh, tonic's fine. You know, you would make quite a detective. That was excellent. I want that guy put away. Oh, you've got Lambert. He's scared, doctor. You've shoved him into a car. And nobody's laid a glove on him yet. I'm going to put a bug into the district attorney's ear. He'll make things very, very tough for Mr. Lamberti. Well, can you call him now? What? Call the DA now. We'll show him my film and toss Lamberti in jail. <laughs> Nobody's going to put him into jail, doctor. Now, all he did was make a few extra bucks on those pipes. That's done every day. The pesticide thing was accidental. They'll probably just give him a fine and then... It's a little bigger dose of that accident. 
A lot of people would be dead. Now, that would be different. But fortunately, with your skill and God's help, everybody's on the road to recovery. Are you putting me on? No. You've done a great service for your neighborhood. And that's the end of it? Well, let's hope not. But with things in this town, the way things so are... So you're, uh, you're not going to use it? Dr. Stoner, my air time is very limited. I deal only with grave problems that affect large segments of the population. Now, I understand how you feel about this Levada Pond story, but it's just not important enough overall. You're afraid of it. That's ridiculous. You're scared of City Hall. I'm not scared of anyone in this town. I spent 20 years becoming who I am. There's no one near me on television. I pick my own stories, and this one is not big enough. Big enough? What do you mean by big enough? I watched your program lately. All that bull every week about who's got the most influence in town, which, which 10 men earn the most money, who's behind the big real estate deals. You're not talking big enough, man. You're talking rich enough. I reach 80% of the people in this city every month. They like what I give them. Yeah, well, there's a chick on my block, hooks for a living. She say the same thing. Dr. Stoner, this is my home. Suddenly, I want to be alone. You know, Riley, I've seen you a lot on TV, and I watched you uh, turn on the charm with the cocktail party set. But today, it's like seeing you for the first time, man. That's enough. What's happened to you, Riley? You used to be a big man in this town. You made things happen, but they've tamed you. Now they hand you scripts and you read their words. Now, just a minute. The Vada Palms was a scary thing, man. Fifty people could have died, and it was no accident. Lamberti knew where those pipes came from. He, he tried to get rid of the pesticides. He didn't do a good enough job. Right now, he's got a contract to start another project. Now, what'll it be the next time? The wiring, maybe? When the building goes up in flames, will that story be big enough for you? As long as he owns the building inspectors, anything can happen. Now, I'm a doctor, and you're on TV, but we do the same thing. We're supposed to find out what's wrong and fix it. East L.A. can't stand every hustler and scam artist ripping her up. You could help. You could help nail those people. We need you, Riley. Help us. Please. The next time you take a glass of water, remember men such as Lamberti and Dickerson and what their greed almost did to the poor people of this city. Most of all, I want you to remember the name of a very brave doctor who fought to discover the truth behind the pipes of the Mata Palms. The real hero of this story is Michael Stoner, M.D. Doctor Stoner, thank you, Doctor. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Fallon Riley. Doctor, you said your name. Oh, that's good. He's all right. What do you think, Rico? He's pretty cool, ain't he? <laughs> Good night. Good night. And nurse? Ah, yo sí, mamá. ¿Sabes? Él fue el doctor Ken. Mamá, mira. Ay, mi hijo, te está moviendo. Ay, mira, ¿qué? Doctor, por favor, pronto parece que se está moviendo. He can talk. What kind of doctor do you think I am? <laughs> but he's only be playing handball, ain't that right, Rico? Stay with him, nurse. Ay, mi hijo, mi hijo. Ay, mi hijo.
to find Many times It's a place I can run to Just to hide If you want to know what's in there All you gotta do is look inside Anything you want, it's open wide In this world Without reason or rhyme Where's the love So much hate are we really Just too blind 